Welcome back to another lesson for N3 Electro Technology. In today's calculation, we'll be taking a look at the DC series motor. Please continue to support this YouTube channel by liking and sharing these videos. Now in today's example 4.5 from page 49 for a DC series motor, we'll be taking a look at the circuit diagram first. Now for a motor, the current is drawn from the supply and the armature is drawing armature current. Because it's a series circuit, it means that current remains the same throughout the circuit. For a motor, because it's mechanical out, it's therefore power out at the armature and power in at the terminal voltage. The EMF is generated by the armature and we have our terminal voltage across the terminals. Now in this calculation, the generated EMF is 220 volts. The armature resistance 0, 0,22 ohms. The supply current being drawn by the armature is 35 amps. And this current will be the same throughout the circuit. We have a terminal voltage of 250 volts. And the unknown factor in this calculation is the value of the series winding. Now the formula for this calculation, you must take note that it's not available in your formula sheet. Now the reason why it's minus is because if you look at the operation of a motor, you'll find that the EMF opposes the direction of current flow. Now this formula is slightly longer. We have three volt drops, one volt drop across the terminal, a volt drop across the armature, and a volt drop across the series winding. Now to manipulate the equation to find the unknown variable, which is the value of the series winding. It's gonna be voltage minus the generated EMF, minus the volt drop across the armature, divided by the current in the circuit. Now to calculate the value of the series winding, the terminal voltage is 250 volts, the generated EMF is 220, and to calculate the volt drop, we'll use Ohm's law, I times R. The current in the circuit is 35, and the armature resistance is 0, 0,22 ohms. Now divided by ISC, in other words, what is the current through the series winding? Well, current remains the same in a series circuit. Therefore, the current through the series winding will be the same as the current being drawn from the supply. And that gives us a value of 0, 0,637 ohms for our series winding. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching another video. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and to like this video. Thank you.